Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Melissa Muir. In this video, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about dust collection and maybe other particle collection. So when I'm working in a studio, whether I'm working with enamel, I'm working with wood or metal, those are items that I definitely don't want to have coming back into my face or be able to breathe in, especially when we're creating small particles. Well, having a dust collection system and having a good dust collection system is actually imperative. Well, Fordham has a great system and I wanted to take some time and show you guys this system today. So here we have the MADC 20. Now this system is actually very powerful and it's also very quiet. It's only about 52 decibels. Well, did you know that your flex shaft is probably about 54 to 55 decibels? So it's actually quieter than a flex shaft. Now you'll notice that once you get things hooked up, it might sound a little bit noisier and that is because when you start to add other attachments, those can amplify the sucking sound that the, the vacuum itself makes. So before we talk a little bit about how the system works, let's talk about what comes with our system to make it work. So first thing we're going to have the system itself, the MADC20. Then we are also going to have our hose. The hose is six feet long. You can always use something different. You can also cut this down to make it shorter if you need it to be. You're just after that two and a quarter inch fitting that will attach to both the system and to whatever else you're attaching it to. You will also have a deflector because when you're using the machine, there's going to be some output of air and you can put this deflector on and change it to whatever direction you need it to be. So next we have the collection chamber itself. Now the collection chamber has two parts to this. We have the cyclone and then we have the collection chamber. This is going to catch your larger particles, whereas the cyclone is going to take and put those smaller particles and take those into the HEPA filter. It will also come with three different cords. You have a six foot power cord. You have a nine foot remote cord. In addition, you will have a six foot remote cord that will also hook to other systems such as the lighted work chamber. And finally, we have our last connection piece, which is going to hook in from that cyclone into the HEPA filter. Now the machine does come on casters so that you can roll this around. I take my casters off because I'm also putting mine onto the up and down workstation that they have at Fordham. When you receive your machine, there will be four screws on the side of the machine and the collection chamber will be packaged separately. So this needs to be attached in order for us to use this. In order to do this, all we have to do is remove these screws. Once you have this into place, just reattach with the screws. Once you have the chamber connected to the dust collector, then you're just going to insert the connector part then we connect our hose. So once you have this hooked into your system, then the other end is going to hook into whatever item you're using to collect this dust. This could also include the Fordham fish mouth that attaches to your bench, the lighted work chamber, or even the jumbo work chamber. And we'll talk a little bit more about some of those coming up. So now you have the option of turning the machine on and off with the butterfly switch, but let's say that you want to put this machine somewhere else, somewhere underneath a workbench or something like that, and you don't always want to have to get down to reach in and turn this on and off. Well, you also have the remote option. The remote option is kind of nice because it also has this little carrier, and what you can do is just screw this onto the side of your bench or whatever else, mount this into place, and you can easily just switch this. Comes with a nine foot cord and it will turn on and off your machine just the same as your butterfly switch. So what does our machine sound like? Let's take a listen. In here it's not too bad at all. Fairly quiet and it is variable speed. So at this point I'm at the low speed and now I'm at the high speed. Definitely a little bit more noise but still nothing too obtrusive. 
so what happens when we are using this machine? Well, that's kind of the nice thing about this, is it's a two-stage system. So first things first, things are going to come into our cyclone chamber. Now, anything that is a light particle is gonna get tumbled around and it's gonna get blown into the HEPA filter inside of the machine. Anything that is heavier is then going to be separated and dropped down into our collection chamber. Now, one of the really nice things about the collection chamber is it's large and it's see-through and it has a very big opening, which means that if I happen to drop something, all I have to do is open up the chamber and I can easily pull out any items that inadvertently got sucked into the machine. There's no more fishing through a little tiny dark hole or anything like that. It's all right here. To attach this back on, very simple. Just click each of the little latches back into place. Now to get access to the HEPA filter, what we are going to do is just loosen up these little screws here at the top of our machine. You don't even have to unscrew them all the way. Next, I'm going to rotate and lift up, and there is my HEPA filter. Now, to change out the HEPA filter, I would remove these screws. These are going to be removed completely. And then I would separate this. There is a rubber gasket right here, kind of a rubber ring, to help make sure everything is caught and collected. Close this back up. Simply insert that filter, give a twist, and re-tighten each of these little knobs. Now here in my studio, as I said before, I actually use this system as a lar part of a larger system. And I removed those casters so that I can easily insert that into the base of this system. Once I have this into position, I just need to plug it in, attach my power cord, Now that this is here, I'm just going to attach the remote, which connects to the base itself. So when I turn on my base, it will turn on my machine, assuming that I also have it plugged into the base. Next thing I need to do is to insert the hose and connect that to my work chamber. When this is connected to a system similar to this, all I need to do is turn it on and everything will work together. Now, a couple of things to note about this machine is that it has a MERV rating of 16, which means that it will catch 99.98% of particles, 0.3 microns and larger. That is absolutely tiny. Now it also comes in a 115 and a 230 volt, and it is CE approved. And of course you can find this product wherever you can find Fordham products, including Fordham.net. Thank you so much for joining me as I introduce you to new tools to help keep you and your studio safe. We'll see you guys next time.